Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, now that Scythia is gone, we could find and focus on a new target. And I think that's going to be Congo. Because Congo is in the lead in both science and culture. And they have terrible relations with both Rome and Norway. And we have very good relations with Norway and decent relations with Rome. There's no need to ruin that just yet. Rome is friendly with Norway. So yeah, Congo is hated by all of their neighbors. It makes sense to attack Congo next. And he's not too far away either. And it would be a good idea to weaken him. Because we don't want Congo to get too strong, do we? No, we definitely don't. Now, can we get some better units? We can get crossbowmen pretty soon. It will require quite a lot of gold for upgrades, but that's fine, we should be able to afford that. Oh, that barbarian camp isn't actually protected, alright. With crossbowmen, we should be able to take a few cities from Congo. We might need a few more melee units, but we have time, we can get a few more. Alright, I do think Congo will be the next target. But we are not declaring war just yet. We might as well denounce Congo. So let's just do that. We will not be friendly with Congo, that's for sure. Alright. And back to the builder. We got one more use. We could improve the salt. That's not a bad idea. And then sell it. I actually sold two luxuries to Rome. Didn't get a whole lot of gold for it, only like 9 gold per turn. But it's always extra gold. It definitely won't hurt. And kill the barbarian. And we got plus 40 gold from the goodie hut. And we got a promotion for the horseman. Now, I still want to settle this location. Like I already mentioned, I think we'll just recruit a settler as soon as the campus is done. Which is going to be on the next turn, basically. But I still want that. It's a very nice city location. It's probably going to be the last city for now. Without a oh, of the Barbarian camp actually spawned a no warrior. Right Alright, no problem. We'll kill him. As for the horseman, anything interesting down here? No. Alright, let's pick up the promotion then. And our next research is going to be what? Engineering and then machinery, I guess. Do we have the time to build walls? How long would it actually take? Five turns. Is this our highest production city? Probably. Okay, 16 production in the other one, but it is our highest production city. Five turns to build city walls. Let's build city walls in Pokrovka. And we'll build a library in our capital. Because I don't want to fall behind in science too much. And we'll switch from engineering to something else for one turn. Yep. To let the city walls finish. Alright, well, let's slowly start moving towards Congo. Oh, that's a Roman city over here. Alright. Good to know. The horseman needs to heal back to full. We'll let it do exactly that. We have quite a lot of experience on some of these guys. That's going to be quite helpful. Especially the archers. Some of them are actually close to their final promotion. We got one with three promotions, or do we? I thought we do. But apparently not. Alright, but most of them have two promotions and they are very close to their third. We'll improve the salt. And then probably sell it. Another promotion? Yeah, double flanking bonus. Alright. And let's keep exploring. We still have to make contact with a few more AIs. I don't actually know if we're on a continent or if this is Pangea. Rome is impressed. That was their hidden agenda. I'm thinking we're on a continent and the other AIs are on their own continent. I am playing on a shuffle map, so we don't know what kind of map exactly this is, it's random. And Barbarian Horseman, that's not so good. But we do have a Horseman. 
in our own city. Yep. Don't let it pillage anything. And production. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, the Hansa. That was the plan. So right here? Yes, right here. And then we'll switch to military production for a bit. Alright, well, let's keep moving. Congo is waiting. We'll definitely need more than this. But I can probably convince either Rome or Norway to declare war on Congo. I bet I could convince Rome. Would he declare war on Congo? Okay. Yes, he would. I don't think we're ready just yet. Let's wait a few turns because we just denounced Congo. If we wait five turns, we'll be able to declare formal war. Not that it makes a huge difference, but it does kind of make a difference. Grab the salt, and I bet we can sell the salt. Let's have a look. Yep, we can sell it to Norway, hopefully, now. Well, he will give us some gold, just not too much. Four gold per turn. It's not a terrible deal. And a little bit of flat gold. Yeah, it's a good enough deal. Accept. More gold is always nice. Alright. We'll stay in Hatosa with the galley. And... Oh yeah, grab the barbarian camp. That's 30 gold. Now, I still want the settler. I'm just not sure when we're going to recruit him. Probably after the library. Because again, I don't want to fall behind in science too much. And the Congo is currently doubling our science output. More than doubling. One of the reasons why Congo is the next target. Alright. I don't think we can go east anymore. Nope. We cannot. I don't think there's much more to explore on this continent either. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's another continent with more AIs. Oh, this is quite a few barbarians. I saw more. Well, let's just bring the archers to help with that. Or bring literally everything else that we have. Oh yeah, here's the guy with the third promotion. And he's pretty damn close to his fourth. We need 54 more experience to get a level 5 unit. You know, I've not had a level 5 unit just yet. So that's exciting. Oh, what? Why did Rome not loot that? Well, doesn't matter, we will loot it. It's just a little bit strange. In before they loot it right now. <laughs> I wouldn't mind all that much, I did not expect to find a goodie hut. Yeah, he will loot it with the spearman. <laughs> But I didn't expect I've to find a goodie hut right now. In my life. On turn 94, three Some tiles away from his city? Four tiles away from his city. Anyway, do we want to change our policies? I don't think so, actually. No, this seems fine. Really keep plus one production. Yep, this is fine, not changing anything. Library. As much as I need more units, I also don't want to neglect science, like I already said. What do we want to research next in civics? Military training would not be a terrible idea. What else? Defensive tactics? Sure, and then feudalism. Let's go for defensive tactics. Sounds good. Now. I don't think it's very safe to attack with our own horsemen. There is one more unit in the back, we know as much. So let's not attack, we'll pick up a promotion. And wait until the next turn. Okay, a few more turns and I think we'll declare a joint war with Rome. Rome has quite a lot of units. And they are stronger than Norway, I think. Let's have a look, where's Rome? Here's Norway, 166 military strength. Yeah, Rome is much stronger than Norway. Alright then. Anything else? You need to heal. Oh, another barbarian camp. 
No problem. We'll get rid of it. Not much more to explore around here. Oh, I can actually pick that up. Nice. Plus one new population. That was quite useful. <laughs> Thanks, Rome. Norway used the horsemen to clear a barbarian outpost. Thanks for the update. Kill that. Any more units around here? Yep. Horse archer. I don't think we care about that. It looks like it might attack Norway. Alright, let's move as close to Congo as possible. Before we declare that war. There's no huge rush. It would be awesome if Rome actually declared war on their own, because then we could declare a joint war with Norway, and Congo would end up at war with all three of us. That would be amazing. Don't think it's going to happen, but hey, it might. And the scout, yeah, there's not much else we can scout around here. And we cannot cross ocean with a scout just yet. So that will have to wait. Oh, I should have switched, but we only lost one turn. One Not really a big deal. Magic. There's engineering. Now we can go for machinery. To unlock crossbowmen. That will be a really nice power boost. In fact, we should wait to upgrade all our archers before we attack Congo. I like that plan. Kill that. This will be quite a lot of gold, but we got over 1000 right now. And let's grab that settler, shall we? That was the plan, and it still is. Do not attack across the river. We'll heal back to full before attacking. And back to our other city. We still need a few more builders. Let's grab a builder real quick. And then a trader, perhaps. Because we need one more. We can get a trader out with Rome. Or with Norway, doesn't really matter. We are friendly with both. Yep, heal back to full. Hey Congo, where do you think you're going with that spearman? I'm not declaring war just yet. We're not ready. Well, technically we are ready, but we can be more ready than this. How far away from pikemen are we? Only one tech away. No, two techs away. We'll go for that next. We got a boost to mathematics, and we got a boost to military tactics. So this seems like a reasonable progression. It certainly is. Okay, production, Magdeburg. We finished the Hansa. Should we get a workshop or work on some more units? Let's grab a quick trader. And then we'll work on more units. Sounds good to me. So the plan is to position all the archers as close to Congo as possible. And we'll upgrade them all as soon as we get machinery. And then we can start moving towards Congo and declare war. I don't think conquering Congo will be very hard. Probably not. But I'll try to not underestimate them too much. What's their military strength anyway? Defense. 570. Opulence. So, just slightly above ours. We got defensive tactics. I'm not going to change any policies. These are fine. What can we get next in civics? Feudalism, civil service. Can we grow a city to 10 population anytime soon? Not really. Magdeburg is closest, but it will take a long time to get there. Let's get civil service then, because I don't want to wait too long, and we might be able to get an alliance. And I might get meritocracy for a bit. It's a nice policy for culture. And retainers is also a very nice policy that I will likely use at some point. Do we want military training first? I don't think we need it all that much. Let's go for the civil service. Yep, carry on. 
I will not be waiting to get 10 population. Workshop. A builder. Let's grab that workshop. And move around a bit more. Something like this. I have a feeling this will be a slightly one-sided war. But we'll see. We can't let Rome conquer any of these cities. We just want their help. Well, I don't even need their help, but more units that Congo will have to fight. That's basically it. 45 for now. Oh yeah, I can't even embark with units, which is slightly annoying. We should probably work on that. Kill that. We need three more turns to get machinery. Yes, you stay here, I guess. We could explore to the north a little bit. Looks like there's some kind of island over here. Might be a good idea to check that out, actually. Fortify until healed. And that's it. Now, one downside of the horsemen is that we won't be able to upgrade them to anything better for a pretty long time. Until cavalry, basically. So until early in that shalera. That's the only real downside of horsemen. But they are still useful. Especially with a few upgrades. So, give me machinery. One more turn to finish the settler. He might need an escort. So it would be nice to give him an escort. The barbarian camp can wait a little bit. But I want this city ASAP, because it's going to be a very good city. As for the trader... These trade routes are not exactly amazing. No, they really aren't. Plus three gold. I'm leaning towards boasting one of our smaller cities, actually. <laughs> like... This one, or this one. We could use a road here, I suppose. Alright, we'll do that. And Magdeburg production. Only six turns to build a workshop. But let's get a few more units. It won't take very long. Only two turns to recruit a swordsman. Alright. But only one turn to recruit a horseman, because we got the policy active. Sounds good. Horsemen are good enough against Congo. And production again. Probably just build a Hansa. What would be the best location for it? Not a lot of resources around here. In fact, the best location would be on one of these tiles. And then build the Hansa. I mean, the commercial hub next to it. So I would have to replace one of the farms, which isn't really a big deal. Let's grab a builder first. Then we can use the builder to chop some of the jungles to speed up the Hansa. That's not a bad idea. And production again. We'll grab a monument. A little bit of extra culture will not hurt. I'm not sending envoys to the city-state. I'm pretty sure that will upset Norway. And while Norway is kind of weak and I don't care about them all that much, I don't want to upset them just yet. Rome will not accept friendship yet. I'm sure they will eventually, but even if they won't, I don't really care all that much. One more turn to get our promotions. Alright, we are almost ready. Hey Congo, we're coming for you. I hope you're ready. Ignore this request. Yeah, the plan is to declare war with Rome. A joint war. There's machinery. How expensive is the promotion? 200 gold. Not cheap, but these are very good promotions. Especially with all the experience we got on the orchards. This should make our job much, much easier. And production. There's the settler. Let's go give it an escort. Because I do not want any surprises. And send the trader out first. Off you go. And then back to military production. 
Let's have a look. A horseman in two turns. Let's grab a horseman. And more horsemen. One turn. Yeah, we can get one horseman a turn. I really wish there was a production queue, at least for units. But oh well. There isn't one. As for Pokrovka, let's build a Hansa here as well. But where? Three adjacent resources. Oh, is there a resource on the city tile? Is there? I don't think so. No, there is stone. Okay, this is obviously the best location then. And then we can build a commercial hub right here. Yep, seems like a no-brainer. Alright, we can reserve spots for both. Like this. And switch back to Hansa. Okay, looks good. We are going to be a production powerhouse. Which is kind of the whole point of Germany. Alright, we are ready to declare war. Let's wait one more turn, shall we? Not that it really makes a difference. But we can start moving with our units. All that jungle will be a little bit annoying, but we can handle it. Improve the luxury. Yeah, not much else to explore, but we can check the area to the south. There are a few more unexplored tiles. You never know, there might be a goodie hut on one of them. There isn't. But we checked. So there's that. Let's declare war then, shall we? Unless Rome changed their mind, I don't think they did. Wait, why is it not an option? Really? It's not an option? Are they at war already? Oh, they declared war on their own. Hey, that's even better, because now we can declare war together with Norway. Yeah, that's even better, actually. Or we could just declare war without Norway. Norway is kind of weak, so I don't care about them all that much. Let's just use formal war. That's a moderate warmonger penalty. And that's that, we are at war. We'll take a small penalty, but it shouldn't be too bad. Rome is still friendly. Apparently we broke a diplomatic promise. Not sure which promise that is. Minus 16 from warmongering. But I think we're still in net positives. Looks like it. So we should be fine. It's a shame they didn't accept friendship. But oh well. We can sell a luxury. If they are buying. They are not buying, I don't think so. Would they buy silk? Yeah, they would. You want to give me gold per turn? Why? Oh, they don't have any gold per turn, because I can't actually click this. Alright, I guess they don't have any. So, Congo. We can't let Rome take any of their cities. They do have city walls, from the looks of it. The most annoying part will be the jungle, because it will limit our ranged units quite a lot. But oh well, we can handle that just fine. We are not in a huge rush. Production. More military units. Let's just grab the workshop to increase our production faster. We'll stay out of city bombardment range for now. And I'm not going to attack yet. Two more builds. We could grab a mine. We could grab more farms. Oh yeah, we don't actually need six farms for feudalism. So let's maybe work on that. There, feudalism boss. We only needed one more farm. Good enough. So send that escort. And we'll explore to the north, see what that island is. Because there's clearly some kind of land over here. Probably some small island, but you never know. This is a shuffle map after all. There's the horseman. This is quite a lot of units. I don't think Congo really stands a chance. Let's start attacking then, shall we? With the spearmen. Anything else around here? 
I can't see a whole lot. Let's attack with the spearmen. We can start moving in. Because, you know, we can't let Rome take the city. And there are more cities to take. We want at least his capital, which we don't actually know where it is. But it has to be close. He doesn't have that many cities to begin with. Oh, and yeah, we can use the galley, because why the heck not? It's not like it will be useful for anything else other than attacking Congo. And back to our capital. I think we need another builder. To be honest, yeah, we kind of do. So we'll grab that. We got one more build. Which is not amazing. Let's go grab that mine. I think. Or we can improve the cattle. We'll just have to buy the tile. Auto explore. There's not much else to auto explore, but sure, we can do that. So, if Congo, I, I hope you have better units studies, than just warriors. I would follow the advice of Plato. Research. Yeah, military tactics next. To unlock the pikemen. Now, I could switch from military service to something else if I wanted to wait for 10 population. But getting 10 population in one city will take way too long. I'm not going to wait that long. So, let's be careful here because I would prefer to not lose units. If we don't have to, we'll do some damage. But I'll wait for some of the ranged units. It should be safe to move in with the spearmen. Taking the first city will be the most annoying part from the looks of it. But once we kill these units, we'll just wreck the city, especially with the battering ram. Alright, now, which exact location do we want to use for this city? We need to think about it. But let's finish our turn first. You are also coming, and you guys are coming too. Alright, where do we want this city? Good question. We want Crater Lake to be in range. One of these tiles. The incense is actually in range of our capital, so we don't have to worry about that. I think this location is the best. The stone will be slightly out of range. But if I wanted stone and copper, I would have to settle on top of the wine. Which, to be fair, is not necessarily a bad idea. Yeah, settling on top of wine might actually be the best choice here. I think it is. Because then we'll get everything in range. Crater Lake will still be in range. We'll get copper, we'll get stone. Yeah, this is the best location. So that's going to be it. Okay, Congo. Back up with the galley, and first we'll use our ranged units. Now, the unique units the Congo has is actually pretty decent. We need to be careful with that. Okay, let's move the battering ram first. It needs a few turns to actually get there. But this will be easy. Yeah, we'll play it safe. Don't do anything silly. Move in. I don't want to move in too aggressively because we don't know what's there. Inside the fog of war. And just back up with the galley. It's a shame we can't embark yet, but oh well. We'll leave. Don't really need that spearman all that much. We have more than enough melee units. This island is not terrible. But I don't think it's worth settling it. If I wanted one more city, I could still settle a city somewhere around here. But I don't think it's worth it. Alright, let's settle this one. Oh yeah, we're out of moves. Next turn. So, Congo, show me what you got. Not a whole lot. They didn't even kill one horseman. Well, it sucks to be you. 
let's move out of here, move in with the crossbowmen, and we can start attacking the city. It would be much better with the battering ram, but the battering ram needs one more turn. Well, two more turns. Let's start that city already. There, that also removes the barbarian camp actually, which is very convenient. And I'm going to finish this episode here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.